Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Welcome once again. Um, for today's topic, we have a very interesting topic which is related to certification authority. And the topic is how to migrate certification authority, which is basically your CA inside your Windows Server. So, of course, um, we will start with the basic understanding. And for a basic understanding, I would definitely expect this, that the people who are here already know about what is certification authority. Basically, it is a server which issues certificate and of course, the concept of VKI certificates and all uh, private key and public key infrastructure. We are not talking about it in detail, but of course, I expect the people who are landing to this tutorial already knows, um, they already know about CA, what is certification authority. Uh, in order to do this, what we are going to have is uh, we need to have at least which are kind of our requirements, I would say, we should have certification authority already running inside your environment, whether it's on 2008 R2 or 2012, 2012 R2. Of course, if you are running on these operating system or for any reason, if you are even running on 2016 or 19, but you would like to migrate it to new server, so at least you should have a certification authority which might be running on any of these operating systems. After that, um, of course, we need a new server uh, with at least 2016 or 2019 because there is no point of uh, installing 2012 or 2012 R2 certification authority now when we are here in 2020. So to do this, of course, we need to follow certain steps. And to follow those steps, first thing what we are going to do is we are going to back up our current certification, uh, certificate authority database and its configuration. The next step, what we are going to do is we are going to back up the registry settings and followed by uninstallation of CA service from current server. People who might be coming to this stage right now might be thinking that how can we uninstall something which is already there? What if our new server will not work? So this is a part of the procedure because you already have a backup, so you don't need to worry about if you are even going to uninstall your CA service from the current server. The next step, what we are going to do is we are going to install Windows Server 2012 or 2016 or 2019 certification services. Of course, certificate services we install and then we are going to configure ADCS service and then we'll restore the CA backup. So that's why uh, we have taken the backup at for first step. And then restoring of registry information and then of course last process and last step which we are going to do is to reissue certificate templates. So let's proceed and see the process. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my certification authority. Okay and we are going to right click on our certification authority name and we are going to click on backup ca we click next we'll select private key and um, cert ca certificate and then we will uh, we will select certificate database and certificate database log next step is to provide the location where we would like to backup this so i have created a directory on my desktop ca backup where I'm going to store this. We need to provide a password in order to protect the private key and CA certificate files over here. And we are going to click on next and then finish. Now just to verify, if you come over here, you see I have my CA certificate over here, which is my private key of the CA and my database over here. Now the next step, what we are going to do as stated before, we are going to get into the registry. And 
we are going to go into system current control set under that we have services and in services we need to go into cert svc which is over here so basically over here we need to right click on configuration key and export it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to export it into the same place and i'm need at i'm going to name it as configuration key i'm going to save it just again just to verify we have configuration key registry also available over here and that's it we are good over here till now so now over here backup of our certificates is completed now what we are going to do is we are going to move this files to our 2019 or 2016 server which is our new server basically where we would like to move them so i'll just copy these files and i have already opened my location over here where i have already created this cm migration directory i'm going to paste it and this is my new server by the way now the next step what we are going to do is we are going to uninstall the role from this particular server so for that we are going to go into server manager under server manager of course we need to wait for this to complete we'll click on manage and we are going to go into remove roles and features click next and now over here of course we need to select over active directory certificate services ah okay so we have our web enrollment service also available on this server so first of all we need to uninstall this from here okay and then we should be able to remove the other role also it's been long i have been, i have not worked with this so that's why i didn't remember that it has a web uh, certification authority web enrollment service also so first we have to remove this and then we are going to remove active directory certificate services also of course this process take little time so this is now complete and now we are going to get into the same place and we are going to remove this also next next restart the destination server if required okay and we are just waiting for this to complete of course it would take time maybe one minute or less than that and then we are done with the installation or uh, uninstallation of certification authority and as you can see after that it needs a reboot which is happening right now but we don't need to worry about this we don't need to stay over here because now our next procedure is on our new server so we'll switch to the new server all right so we are on our new server and as you can see the files which we copied from the other server are already over here now our first step which we are going to do is we need to add the role for certification authority so for that of course we are going to get into server manager so when we are here we just need to go to add roles and features of course okay because it's just waiting for this process to complete and once this is complete we are going to go into add roles and features 
So we are going to click on add roles and features. Please click next, next. And as you can see, the name of the server is dc01.lab.local. So it's also my domain controller. You can install it on the domain controller, or if you want, you can install it on any other server also. The best practice is to install it on another server, but it's a lab environment, so I don't mind installing it on the same server. We are going to click next. Now we have to install Active Directory Certificate Services over here. So this will also include management tools, which we are going to install over here. Add features. Let's click next, next. Just let's verify something over here. There is anything else we should do? Yes, click next. And next over here. So now over here, what we are going to choose is we are going to choose certification authority and we are going to choose certification authority web enrollment also. And now over here, of course, for web enrollment, we need to have IIS installed. This is not there. So we are going to click next, next, next. The rest, we will keep everything as default and click next over here. I always prefer to do restart the destination server automatically if required so that if required it will reboot it and we just need to wait for all these roles and services to get installed all right so the role installation is complete now the next step is to configure the Active Directory certificate service over here. We'll click on this sign. We are going to configure Active Directory certificate service on this. So now, of course, uh, we will keep these things as default. This is my, these are my credentials, of course, which we are going to use. I'm going to click on next. And I'm going to choose the roles and services to configure. And then I'm going to choose domain enterprise CA because, of course, it's in my um, domain environment. It's not standalone where I have a work group and this CA. I'm going to click next over here. So I'm going to go over here and click on root at the first and maybe the only CA configured in the PKI hierarchy because it's not a subordinate CA uh, environment over here. Now, the important part which comes into the picture over here is rather than create a new private key, I'm going to select use existing private key and click next because of course we have to bring up over private key from the previous server so that all the certificates which are deployed in my environment should still be considered as valid certificates. So I'm going to click on next over here. And of course, I need to import this. This is our private key and the password which we provided at that time when we were doing the backup. Okay. Allow administrative interactive. 
I'm just going to click on this and I'll just keep everything as default and I'm going to click on next over here next and configure now if you see over here certificate authority configuration succeeded configuration succeeded both are done we are going to close this now the next step is to restore CA backup so to do that again what we are going to do is we are going to go into server manager once we are here in server manager we need to go to certification authority and I'm going to right click over here just to let you know if you see over here what we have currently here we have nothing except the default items over here now I'm going to right click over here all tasks and restore CA and I'm going to click on OK next on the wizard and now I'm going to click on private key and CA certificate certificate database and certificate log files and of course I'm going to browse to my database location I need to provide the password and I'm going to click on finish the restore operation is complete do you want to start active directory certificate service of course yes if you have additional incremental backup files to restore click no and rerun the wizard until all files are restored for me I do not have any incremental backup so I'm just going to click on yes over here this will restart my of course service and if you see now things have been restored and if I go over here and issued certificate I have all the certificates which I have issued in past any other details which are there are available over here now the next step what we are going to do over here is which is by I would say the second last step of this whole procedure is we need to go to registry to be restored over here and to do that rather than going to registry what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to double click on this button on this and it says adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly of course it's a warning sign we'll click on yes because we know what we are doing so the keys and the values contained in this location have been successfully added to the registry now let's go back over here and refresh okay and we have over registries which were there migrated over here now then last and the final step of this whole process is to reissue the certificate template as we discussed in our presentation and in order to do that of course you are going to get into certification authority you need to right click on your certificate templates create new certificate templates to issue and from here whatever certificates we want to do reissue we will select them let's say I have to issue all of them let's say okay I'll just probably do this way okay I'm going to click on OK and if you see all my certificate templates have been restored over here so this was the complete procedure for migrating your certification authority from one server to another 
now the server could be 2019 to 2019 it can be from 16 to 19 or it can be from 12 to of course 2019 or from 2008 to 2019 it can be from any operating system to 2019 or 2016 so you have to follow the same step-by-step -step procedure in order to migrate your certification authority Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for. And to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.